You both negotiated contracts with the Ravens successfully, I would say. Can you tell me about that process? Is it your agent? Are you, you know, giving your word in it? Are you completely separate? What's that like? Yeah, so uh, I have a team, just like, you know, just like a GM uh, and whatnot. He has his team, salary cap expert, uh, you know, all these other analytical people and whatnot. So I feel like I, I have a good team as well. And it was more so going to the table. I knew my worth uh, at the end of the day, and I knew, like, you know, what I, what I bring to the game. And so – to talk about the process though, uh, it was it was a really smooth process. Like um, with EDC and whatnot, once they traded for me, so we uh, met a couple times in person. Uh, me and him, like I would go upstairs, and he more so wanted to talk on the our off days. So it was like Mondays, and then a couple times we talked on Tuesdays because uh, it was a very very light day. And like so, when I got here, more so like a, a month went by. So just to let me get acclimated and just truly see how I fit in the defense before. You know, and see how I jail with the guys before you just make a make a decision, even though they did uh, give up a couple things to uh, get me and whatnot. And so when that process is going on, like, you know, I'm just more so focused on, hey, everything going to take care of itself. And I'm one I'm big. I'm a big believer in that to where it's like, hey, I'm just control what I can control. Just be myself and everything else will take care of itself. So I did that for like a month uh, or whatever. And then. He ended up calling me up uh, to the office and, like, you know, started discussing, like, okay, the process and, like, how we was going to go about things, what he viewed me as and stuff like that. So then when he would basically, uh, we would talk, you know, I'll have my notes and then certain things would be uh, over email and whatnot. And I then, you know, would get back with my team uh, at nighttime and then talk with them, discuss with them, say what I'm feeling uh, and whatnot and, like, how I view the situation or what they what they sending me over and then I would, you know, they would send something, then, you know, I'm sending sending something back and then talking. So just a negotiation process, but it was a real smooth process. I got a lot of respect for EDC and like the respect he have uh for his players. And, you know, he's, you know, been doing things uh great for a while now. So ha- just happy to be here, bro, and like happy that uh I'm with a team in Baltimore. I totally forgot. You negotiated your own contract, right? Mm-hmm. Wow. So it yeah. can be done. Yeah, it, I, it definitely can be done. And, you know, I think transparency is key. And, you know, I think that's the thing with a lot of guys. A lot of guys, you know, want transparency these days. And, like, you want to actually truly know how someone feel about you. Because, like, you know, if there's a agent, like, there's a lot of really good agents out there. And I have a lot of respect for a lot of agents out there. But, like, you know, there can be buddy-buddy things and things of, of that nature where it's like, okay, I get What's you that this. Mean? Like, more of like, okay, say, they take hey. take care of that. Go yeah, on. take care of their guys, like, cause you know sometimes, man, a, a agent and GM can be under the same agency mm. in a sense. And like, when you think about it like that, and not saying this is for all cases, yeah. uh, by any means, I'm not saying that. But like, there's definitely uh, cases where it's like you see some players get some contracts, they get you be like, what? <laughs> and I, I don't, I don't knock anyone for getting their chicken like they bread. So get it by any means. But I just wanted to be have full transparency and know exactly how someone feel about me, how they view me. So. I actually know as opposed to hearing it through a second th- second or third party. You know what I mean? Got it. So like the clutch LeBron stuff that we hear in the NBA where <clears throat> his clients get taken care of better. That stuff's real. Where they have relationships with GMs. I don't really know how much uh, works yeah. in the NBA. I don't, yeah, I'm not too familiar with that industry. I just know NFL, it seems like, you know, like, how did that guy sign for so low? Or how did that guy, like, I feel like sometimes agents will some, and I don't think, it's it's not necessarily out of like ill will, uh, all like all time, but like sometimes they don't want to. They be getting nervous too. They be like, they be getting nervous. Like okay, like don't ask for too much. Like this, that. Yeah. Like oh, I'm not gonna put their information out there. But um, it's some stuff. It's yeah. some stuff. It, it, it's definitely because it was like it was some situations. Yeah, even it's crazy. Like where some people hit me up and will be like, yeah, I can get you, I can get you this deal for that, and then I'm just like. I'm not. I'm not selling for less like that. Like yeah. why? Like, but then they would get a nice look. They would get a nice piece because they're gonna get theirs regardless of like how long you uh, play on the deal. They're gonna get their percentage or whatever the case may be. And then some agents just negotiate, you know, bad deals and not necessarily bad deals. Just stuff that just kind of gonna. It's not in the best interest for the player. I would say sometimes, um, yeah. like best best fit. It's just basically there's a lot of stuff that can go wrong when you're dealing. I mean, anytime you're dealing with the middleman. It's it's essentially yeah. things can go can go wrong. Interesting. Um, but doing it yourself is 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 definitely hard. It's just it's you, a lot. It's a lot to process. Yeah, now. you got like, you, you got a lot be, of weight on your shoulders. So it's and mo- most guys aren't. Even myself, I had an agent. Like 
You still have an agent? Yeah. So yeah. I I still have an agent, and uh, it just, it just depends on if you want to do it yourself, um, or or kind of do it on your own. But there's definitely a lot of guys can't sit there and handle. You know, they the team's trying to the club's trying to get the lowest deal too. Right. Right. So they might be. I mean, yeah, Marlon, we. We think you're nice, but you ain't you ain't Jalen Ramsey. Like yeah. just, I don't know what to tell you. Like you, this guy does this. Is, you know, some guys aren't mature enough to sit there and hear that without you know, because it makes it tough on the GM as well if you're not, because they don't want to. You know, they kind of want to. They don't want to bash you, and then they got to see you in the cafeteria yeah. the next day. <laughs> so it's like, do you think that's what happened with Lamar? I got I'm, no idea yeah. what happened with Lamar. I'm not sure, but also I when you situation was yeah, because when uh, you when you think about it, when you think about it, like from uh, that perspective, like. Um, there's a lot of there's a lot of really good agents and whatnot, and not everybody there's not not everybody can afford to not have an agent by any means. Like some people like actually need one to like you know say if you sign in the middle of the pack deal because I've seen some deals like you know <clears throat> excuse me like that guy David Malagetta I, I can't pronounce mm-hmm. uh, Malagetta yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, him like some deals he's got for some people. And like I've been like, man, I'm like this guy may have not been worth that. Like you know what I mean? Yeah. Like in my he, my he opinion though, but like I, I'd have seen him do things like where he's getting gotten people some crazy deals and yeah. whatnot. There's some superstar agents that a guy negotiating for himself would not be able to get yeah. the type of money that David McLeod is. I mean, there's a lot of agents that have gotten some guys. You're like, dang, how do he get that? You are not getting that <laughs> if you're if you're a top of the line guy. If you're you don't really need an agent because yeah. your value is your value. But yeah. when you're like, you know. I'm not saying anybody's bad, but you know, just middle of the pack, middle of the pack guy, and then you're like, dang, you got, you got top guy money. (laughs) That that was that was. It's just a little bit harder to sit down, talk shop when you're not, um, you know, top five player at your position. Is there? We see the top level numbers reported. Is there anything in either your contracts that's like fun that you put in? Like Steve, send the jet every once in a while. (laughs) Like you you got to fly in the Delta, not Southwest. (laughs) I feel like the NBA has stuff like that. Yeah, but some players do have stuff like that. Like, cause I know players like to have like okay suites in their contracts. Like, whereas like I I do, I do wish I did that. I do wish I did that. I know. I think I don't know if Bradley Bill was buying the courtside seats, but I think. Beal had might have had that in his contract for court size seats, but I feel like that's that's that should be yeah. Should looking be back, what would you put in your contract? Actually, I don't even know if I would do this way. I was a single man, like <laughs> yeah. you know, so it was like who, who are gonna, my family don't be coming to all the games. Uh, there's nothing I can really think of. There's nothing I can really think of. Um, now, if I did it now, I'd be like, yeah, I need a suite. But then still, I only got. Like my family don't be coming out again. I, I don't have enough people that I'd be just to be an empty suite for the most part. Yeah, I felt like I, when I when I got my nice deal, that's when I said, okay, I can like you know I can I can afford to do that. So when my people do come up, like yeah, but I split it with uh, I split it with three other people with two other people, so it's not as bad as a hit. And then I was trying to more so help a buddy out too, whereas like so he's just not taking the whole bite by himself. Yeah. And then like you know my family do come up when it do gets cold. They can just be able to hang out, you know, enjoy drinks, food, whatever Mm -hmm. the case may be. 